Shalom Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Check the Czech Republic. Uh, of course, they actually announced this on October the 20th, but Sputnik News is covering this today, that censorship for news is coming to the Czech Republic. Not that it's not already coming to a lot of other places around the world as well, just probably many nations not even aware of it. Uh, according to their article here, Classic Orwellian 1984, Czech Republic to establish anti-propaganda unit. You heard that exactly right. They're about to start shutting down alternative media, anyone that they perceive to be spreading false news. In other words, if you're supportive of Russia or President uh, Putin and his uh, stance against the uh, imperialistic ambitions of President Barack Obama and the United States and NATO forces uh, uh, pushing and prodding at the Russian bear on their border there. Anything that uh, alternative media brings out that clearly identifies uh, the truth in the real in the media, this will be censored out. No telling what all might come with that. But anyway, they will censor out and block news media from being able to tell the world the truth. This is something that we're seeing right here in our own country here, seeing that ourselves. Now, according to the article here, uh, states down here, it says this is part of a forming anti-Russian psychosis and an anticipation of a war. I think this is what particularly what is particularly dangerous. Hayek further commented on the fact that anyone who does not share the point of view put forward by the mainstream media in the West is labeled as being a Kremlin stooge. Uh, this is what happens when there are no other arguments, he said, adding that this is what hap is, was happening under the totalitarian rule. The West has turned into an absolutely totalitarian structure as, as a result. It has to act like a totalitarian regime uh, does. This implies curbing freedom of speech, censorship under any pretext, and finding enemies where, they are, where there are none. This is what the West has been doing. And um, it, it is exactly what ha is happening here. According to the article here, Hayek uh, states that the new Czech anti-propaganda unit will comprise of 20 employees who will be tasking with countering misinformation in the public domain and train public officials to tackle what Prague perceives as false data. wonder who the public officials are. Hmm. Interior Minister Mylan uh, uh, Chok, excuse me, uh, Chopinek unveiled the initiative on October the 20th speaking at the Conference on Strategic Communications. This is about the time we're there right after that, maybe a day or two after that, that our, my father-in-law actually tells me that on Czech uh, CT24 News, they were talking about installing stations in different parts of the Czech Republic that would be able to detect uh, news, as, as they called it, false news, and that they were going to start blocking websites that deliver false news. This is just how serious it's becoming here. But the question is, though, is this type of censorship, what is it really a sign of? As the man mentions here in this article here, it's a sign of things that happened before war. And, of course, all we have to do is look at uh, different articles about that, censorship and World War II. Uh, there's, uh, there's been major censorship of news media, both voluntary and involuntary, ever since there has been wars on the earth, including World War II. The Iraq War is another good example, but in World War II, uh, uh, Mr. Kennedy, who was, uh, who was a staff member, uh, that was Edward Kennedy, he released the story before it was permitted to go out about the, the, the surrender of Germany uh, unconditionally to uh, the Western uh, power, the United States, and the uh, allies that were fighting in the war on May 7, 1945. Of course, uh, he got into a lot of trouble, not only by the U.S. government for releasing the story before it was permitted to go out, but he also got into a lot of trouble as well with his own uh, news uh, association as well. Uh, but anyway, this is the type of things that we're seeing going on right now there is a major move to censorship for alternative media. So if you happen to be another alternative media source out there, which there are many out there across the world uh, in different countries, we must be on the brink of war with Russia for censorship being prepared up front. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live.